Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be analyzing two forex crosses, the euro dollar, the euro Japanese yen and two American stocks, Tesla and Apple. We will see where they might move over the next weeks. Please subscribe to our channel to receive our analysis and our real-time trending signals on crypto, stocks, forex and commodities. Then you can join us at patreon.com slash financial trading academy. Let's start with euro against the Japanese yen on a weekly basis, which means every candle is a weekly one. Uh, right now, uh, we have detected a long white candle breaking above the upper band. We see here Nataraglia, Watson, and Vilup. Uh, being a weekly chart, uh, we forecast a movement downwards over the next month. So, our forecast, our prediction is based on uh, the two upcoming years, so 2024 and 2025. Okay, uh, now if we analyze the Magnus cycle, we see a a huge bearish divergence. Uh, in, other, in other words, we believe that uh, the euro against the Japanese yen, uh, the cross will be moving downwards, uh, actually retracing till at least 133, uh, uh, while we strongly believe that it will move uh, uh, drastically uh, much lower than the aforementioned uh, threshold. Uh, right now, it is worth 148.85. Uh, we forecast over the next weeks a movement till uh, the area at 140 where uh, the lower band it is passing by okay so we're uh, bearish on the couple uh, on the euro japanese yen over the next uh, months we strongly believe that right now um, euro japanese yen moved uh, upwards uh, too much uh, a big retracement is in uh, actually might be in place over the next weeks. Obviously, those are our analysis. Disclaimer, we trade on our own. We don't take responsibilities for your trading, okay? So this is not a suggestion for your trading. Let's move on and let's analyze euro dollar. Uh, for the euro dollar, we have sent uh, uh, a, an analysis, a detailed analysis to our patron stating that uh, we are strongly bullish on the euro dollar cross uh, once hitting the 0.95. Uh, again, we have sent an analysis stating that that, that was a, a fake breakout downwards. Now we see uh, a point of control at 0.95 US dollar. Uh, right now, what we see here in terms of cyclicality, if we analyze the Magnus cycle, we see the uh, white curve having crossed above the orange one, uh, which can give us an idea of what might happen over the next uh, month. Again, this is a weekly chart, so the, our prediction, our forecast is for the next months and years. Uh, so right now, it is absolutely possible to see a retracement till at uh, least this area, 1.07, 1 1.08. Uh, but every trace for us is a great uh, opportunity to buy the cross. Uh, we are strongly bearish on the US dollar. We have sent a very detailed analysis stating that uh, uh, we believe that the euro dollar cross will be moving till 1.40, 1.60 over the next years. Okay, and that's because we have detected a 16 year cycle with eight years of, for the ascending phase of the Gauss curve and eight years for the descending one. Right now, we have started the uh, uh, as of 2021, the new ascending phase for, of the Gauss curve for the cross. So we strongly believe that the euro dollar is going to move at least uh, till testing the 1.20 uh, area over the next uh, uh, month. So again, every every retrace for us is a great opportunity to buy uh, the cross. Now let's move on. Let's analyze Tesla. For Tesla, the analysis is a bit more complicated. Uh, what we see here is a head and shoulder pattern, which is obviously a reversal one. Uh, here we have the uh, left shoulder head and right shoulder so our projection is to see tesla move until the area between 60 and 70 us dollar uh, right now if we zoom in we see that uh, the nadraya watson envelope originated the two bearish signal uh, at two 200 US dollar from where actually we've seen Tesla retracing. Uh, right now it is worth 160. Uh, 
Uh, actually, there is an opportunity to see uh, Tesla keeping moving downwards uh, till uh, 110 US dollar area, uh, from where uh, we believe a rebound, uh, a rebound will be in place. Now, if we analyze the uh, maximum cyclicality, uh, actually we are uh, uh, very close to the bottom, to the point of low for the next uh, uh, years. Yet uh, uh, we believe that uh, the point of low, the relative low. Uh, has to come okay so um, if, in other words what we are stating that we might see a new movement downwards uh, from where actually we uh, we will be buyers uh, and the reason is because uh, the price will be uh, or the quotation will be uh, breaking below uh, the standard deviation so in other words we will have 95 percent of probabilities to to see the price reverting uh, yet in terms of medium and long term trend uh, we believe that Tesla has not hit the point of low uh, yet for the next years. In fact, if we switch to the monthly chart, we will see, uh, we will have a better idea. As you can see here, the magnus side, the white curve is still uh, oriented downwards, uh, and yet doesn't seem to be uh, hitting the point of low. Uh, right now, we have, we have the test of the lower band from where actually from 120 US dollar we had a great rebound. Uh, but right now, we are uh, absolutely inside a bearish trend, which again uh, might not be over for Tesla. So, 70 uh, between 60 and 70 US dollar, we have our target, which is actually a quite realistic one. And again, this is a target for the next. Uh, uh, months uh, slash uh, couple of years okay now let's um, analyze apple for apple in terms of standard deviation we have a very similar situation to what we have seen for the euro japanese cross uh, even in this case we have seen uh, we zoom in a long white candle breaking above the nataraya watson envelope and every time that happened as you can see here uh, we uh, the system originated the fantastic sell short opportunity and same here with the buy opportunity once we see the price uh, breaking below the lower band uh, actually here every time a uh, sell short signal or buy long signal was originated uh, the system was profitable and the reason is because the Naralia Watson envelope are uh, working with the standard deviation uh, so they are pretty much reliable obviously they are they repaint so uh, at the real uh, beginning they might not be that correct but afterwards they originate a very reliable signal also here we have the two envelopes that we have changed based on our parameters and uh, on our cyclicality again here we see on a weekly chart uh, uh, um, a sell short signal. Uh, actually, we are facing the uh, horizontal resistance at 180 US dollar, which seems to be quite hard, uh, quite strong to be broken. Uh, again, uh, definitely uh, we forecast a possible movement till 150 US dollar. Uh, Okay, guys, if you want to receive our analysis and our uh, real-time training signals, you can uh, join us at patreon.com slash financial training academy. Thank you, guys.